so far we have just created the button where we are able to check whether the user is already registered or not now to have view um, in a model pop-up where you know, I will ask for the confirmation I'll have to make a post call and to do that I'll have to install passport because I'll be hitting the API's so let's get started with installing passports um, I'll just follow the guide now let's see I will install passport I think I have this package already okay so with the passport uh, package ready now let's follow these steps at the PHP I'll add the service provider okay and then I'll do migrate okay so my tables are now in place right and then we do passport install which will generate the keys okay so the keys already exist so i'll just regenerate them okay so that's done now my users table so i use a model i'll need to add this has api tokens so let me quickly do that user.php right and then that import the class okay so this will make sure that the tokens are provided whenever the authentication is done and then i'll add the passport routes in auth service provider right so auth service provider register the routes and the last thing is inside auth.php i will tell that my api is now using passport and not token so that is done as well and the last thing if you go here which is consuming your api with javascript okay so i am not going to give away tokens to end clients but i am going to use the api for my own javascript code so i'll add this i need to add this in the kernel which is the http kernel uh, inside web i'll have this create fresh api token okay because so we have this has API tokens in it, right? So this should work. Um, let us quickly do a few things. I'll just make sure that our you know, view code is running. So in here, components I have example dot view. Okay, in mounted I'll have uh axios dot um, post I have api slash check and i'll do check colon one we have this api dot php I'll add this prefix which is v1 okay so that I can have some bit of versioning in my API if I need to um, this is just my way of doing it nothing which you have to follow that's how I work and so yeah habits practically um, check and why don't we do closure in here right now request return request all just to make sure that my code is running okay i have this on watch so that's fine um event list right in event list i will have to add example let's see yeah okay forget the uh, styling part of it I have a 404 which means something is wrong oh yes 
I had a prefix API v1 slash. Okay. Right. So 20 mounted and everyone is filing that and I am getting this check one so which means my post call is working so my passport installation is done you know I can now get rid of this and this as well okay um, and in the next video I will get started with the registration button code so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel